What's going on guys? It's Shiv and finally welcome over officially to some Black Ops 6. Got all my settings ready. Uh, so we're here another year. We got score streaks over here, firing range over here. I can go in here. Ooh. So I think probably the first, probably do the sniper rifles. That's my plan overall. I think it'll be probably best, uh, especially with how sweaty the lobbies are going to be. Now it's midnight, obviously. I don't know what I'm going to do here with my sleep schedule. You guys should see this video regularly, but I might just be up for 24 at this point. The main goal is obviously to go for dark matter. I can't even look over at my loadouts or anything, so let's just find a match. I'm gonna go into hardcore face-off mosh pit. I don't even have any weapons to unlock yet. I'm immediately gonna go into hardcore because I do have a spreadsheet over here. Keep track of all the camo progress and stuff. Yes, obviously you can look at it in-game. It's nice to have it just sitting over on the side, and then whenever I finish something, I can just check it off and be fine. This guy already has a gold weapon in my lobby. So does this guy. This guy's just eating. Oh, they're smart. They thought it out. I thought that I just changed my loadout in here, but it doesn't even let me select it. It won't even let me click on it. Just ran into another lobby with someone that was prestiged. How are they getting into my lobby? I haven't even played a game yet. I have no stats. Also, obviously, if you guys are excited for Black Ops 6, you guys want to tag along with me on this whole camo grind, let me know down in the comment section and by leaving a like on this video. And also, if you're new here, subscribe. I upload basically every single day, especially once I have a grind like this. It was a good year filled with a whole bunch of variety and stuff. I had a great time, a great release, great games to play. But now we're back to the real grind. All right, I'm gonna stop dodging lobbies and just join them. Fuck it. Maybe I give the game a second to, uh, you know, catch up to me. The issue is I don't want to pop off and do too well right at the start here because they immediately start skill-based matchmaking me into some hard shit. I, I want to snipe. I did not do the whole uh, New Zealand trick. I've been getting a lot of tweets like, dude, why didn't you upload yesterday? I saw a whole bunch of other people uploading. Why didn't you? I always have such a hard time trying to get those things finished. Then I get scared and everything because I think that my accounts are gonna get like locked up and fucked up and I joined this game as it finished. Okay. Very, very slow start for me. One thing about the uh, hardcore thing, I didn't even get to play the map. I, I'll say it's very fun, guys. Go ahead, take it. I'm 229 XP into the game. One thing about the hardcore face-off mode, it's basically just hardcore small maps. That's basically what face-off is. Face-off originally is 3v3, so they have 3v3 designed maps. Then they realized in Cold War, wait a minute, people like playing 6v6 on these maps too. So I think that there is less players in this playlist overall. On top of that, anyone that knows about the playlist, probably more likely sweaty than just, uh, you know, some random players, which is why whenever you pick like regular TDM, for example, ever since the old Call of Duties, all of the worst players are always first default mode that they can get into is. I've seen that people that did the whole New Zealand thing, they're already first prestige, close to second prestige, like 10 gold guns, which will be progressed even more by the time you guys see this video. I would like to prestige within, you know, this whole session that I play, not for the recording, because that's another thing that I have to do. These are all like streamers that I'm seeing do it live. I have to stop playing and then edit my videos together and everything. I love it, but don't get me wrong, but in certain certain scenarios like this, this is where kind of, uh, you know, there's its drawbacks. A small price to pay. Something doesn't feel right with my aim. Oh, fuck. I think it's my sensitivity. Let me bump him up. The game feels crazy weird right now. I gotta get acclimated. I really didn't, like, uh, dude, I was playing so many different games. I'm playing Spark and Zero, Wukong, scary games, all sorts of shit. I was supposed to refamiliarize myself by playing MW3 a lot more leading up to this, and I really didn't. Which is really a shame, too, because I think that Modern Warfare 3, again, is still one of the greatest modern Call of Duties we've gotten. So I got the number one spot in Winter Circle. 25 and 13. I felt like I did way worse. At least I didn't pop off too hard or anything like that, so I can start sniping without, you know, getting absolutely slammed. But that didn't feel like I did well and I didn't even unlock my classes yet. Oh, kill order. Nope, we're gonna leave. If it's kill order, we don't play it. Kill order ends too quickly and uh, TDM also ends too quickly, but especially HVT. It ends incredibly fast and I'm talking like two minutes. I thought I could climb that. Sometimes I don't know. Oh, I keep thinking that this map is like way, way bigger than it actually is. And like I run out and die like that and I don't even realize like how close they are. 
Level four. Okay. Now we can make our class, right? Well, now since I'm sniping, I can get out of hardcore actually. But for everything else, yeah, I'm definitely gonna. So we can go into our created class now. Beautiful. Where the game actually starts. My game crash? My PC shit itself? My OBS froze and everything. What the fuck? Anyway, so we go to gunsmith, customize. We can look at our camos here. And we already made some progress. Seven. So we need 100 headshots total for this. And there's these kills without sprinting. And this is where we saw in the uh, blog post. Now we get to see things that we didn't before. Get a kill without taking damage 30 times. Very, very easy, especially in hardcore. Double kills or better with the XM4. Look how good gold looks, dude. This is beautiful. Oh, how gorgeous. Then we got diamond camo. Three kills without dying 10 times. Not bad at all. Especially again in hardcore, you can get three kills by accident. Diamond looks really good. It, it could be a little bit more sparkly. You know what I mean? Three triple kills are better with the XM4 for dark spine, which is also animated. Then we got dark matter. Five kills without dying three times. Oh, look how good this shit looks. And it's fast. And when you fire the weapon, they should let you fire the weapon like in this preview screen. The weapon usually looks like this when you're not firing it. You don't see a lot of these orange particles until you start firing. So it's super cool. Look how intense it gets too. Got the zombies camos here. 2,000 critical kills. Holy shit. 300 eliminations with napalm burst. 30 vermin eliminations. I guess that's some kind of special zombie, boss zombie, whatever they're called. 10 kills rapidly, 15 times with the XM4. 30 special zombies. Okay, they're not boss zombies. They're special zombies. For Opal. I actually fuck with Opal a lot. This is the afterlife camo. I remember us having an afterlife camo before in Black Ops 2, I think it was. Get 20 or more consecutive kills 10 times without taking damage. And then Nebula. I think this looks gorgeous. Same situation as well. It intensifies and changes colors the more you fire. 10 elite zombie eliminations. Okay. And we have the Warzone ones, but it can't even go onto the tab. And then we got like this tab here that shows all like the special camos and shit. I'm just gonna play. So the LW3A1. Uh, obviously, I can't I can equip anything to it. Uh, one of the main things that I want to get here is the target laser. I get this at level 18, so that's a little brutal. Not gonna lie. <laughs> I do need headshots as well, so I'm gonna end up taking even longer to try to aim at their heads. Oh, fuck. Ooh. Charlie. I'll be honest, I was expecting hit markers. What the fuck did I just die to? Yeah, very consistent. I've only gotten like one hit marker. One thing that I saw that I really like as well, um, I didn't get to cover it in the blog because I was just preparing for this whole uh, grind, but I saw they ended up doing the uh, aim assist chain. They ended up doing what a lot of us were uh, recommending them to do because initially whenever we were playing in the beta, they had this overall adjustment to aim assist where the aim assist will uh, straight up shut off after like two and a half meters or something. We played it, we felt it, we agree that, you know, the aim assist nerf is nice, but we should probably find a better way to adjust it. Just feels really, really bad to have it jarringly just shut off entirely. So my solution was saying, you know, the closer that you get to people, the weaker the aim assist should get overall. Granite camo. Okay. What are these little rockets? Is it a kill streak? That's gotta be a kill streak or something. I've seen multiple people on my team against me all using that. What is that? Okay, I went nice and negative in that game. Please give me a nice, good lobby. Please, I had a low score per minute that lobby. All right, so wait, we unlocked uh, Gobblegum as well. Killjoy. Now here's the thing. I, I have no idea what the Gobblegum names mean. So whenever I go and do zombies, which I'm really excited about, by the way. And also uh, another thing, a lot of people have been telling me about the campaign. They still want me to do a campaign playthrough. And from what I remember, the Cold War campaign I did that kind of late as well and people still enjoyed watching me play through it So I might still do a campaign playthrough anyway, you know hour long or however long they would have to be each at least a half an hour Maybe I could do like one video per mission. I don't know. I do have a little bit of double weapon XP But honestly, it doesn't really it's not a huge deal. Yeah, this kind of sucks You know going through the uh, levels over here to get the attachments and everything But it doesn't even feel like an attachment issue so we can see all the prestiges and stuff here as well one through ten we Got the prestige challenges in here what the fuck? I get into a lobby and it's HVT, man. Fuck! Such a bad start for me. So bad. I got best play. What the fuck did I do? Oh.
I didn't do anything. Don't watch it. How is that to play the game? I didn't do anything. Flashbang, Vigilance, Napalm Burst, Suppressor. Does the Suppressor do anything bad? It doesn't say that we lose any range or anything. I have a feeling they're lying, but I'm going to put it on. Again, we're going to need people to go and test all of these things out because I'm telling you, surely there has to be uh, hidden stats or something somewhere. I love the detailed stats right here. I love them. I really do love this. Keep doing it. But every time we have had this, there might be, you know, an outlier or two. So don't have that uh, target laser yet. So ADSing in, I shouldn't get too angry at myself for feeling like I should hit something when I'm not. I'm not even thinking about Omni movement. I'm fucking, I'm operating horribly right now. People are throwing a lot more shit than I remember as well. Like that guy, I was aiming at his stomach and I hit him in the fucking forehead. I have an accuracy challenge for the sniper rifle, but no attachments to actually help me with that, so <laughs> it's fucking brutal. I gotta go and unlock things. I'm not gonna get any cool highlights or anything. I'm getting my shit rocked. I'm happy that it's here. I'm ready to grind. Uh, next time you see me, I'm gonna be... I refuse to continue getting bitched like this.